Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ghost and today we're going to do another Witcher 3 video. If you didn't see my last one, go check it out. But really quick, I'm going to show you how to get a ton of emerald dust and the blueprints for the Griffin school gear. Now, as you can see from my map, I am just east of where the Baron, I believe it's called Crow's Perch. And then it is northeast of Pike Isle. So what you want to do is locate the Dragon Slayer's Grotto. This is what it looks like from the outside. Just look for like almost like a temple looking thing. And right here I take fall damage like an idiot. The fall damage in this game is quite dramatic sometimes. Hopefully they'll patch it because I fell down like a six foot cliff and instantly died. So uh, initially right here I've already killed one wraith. And as you can see, I got emerald dust there. Uh, as you enter the grotto, or I guess little temple area, you'll encounter a few more wraiths. I'll kind of just like skip around with the combat. You guys basically know how it goes. But I'm trying to show you that these wraiths do drop emerald dust, which most people early on in this game are using them for the Viper School Steel and Silver Sword. You need those to craft them, and they are very expensive. I believe they're 500 plus. Uh, coin or currency I forgot what they call it in this game but yeah it's, it's a whole lot 500 is a lot especially early on in the game and so this is a way that if you have enough patience you'll eventually get to this area you'll get to Velen and it'll allow you to get plenty of emerald dust and uh, I would probably just hold on to it especially for crafting materials but as you can see here I open this chest there's tons of stuff in here including more emerald dust I think at the point to where I finished this little grotto cave area, I finished with almost 12, maybe it was 10 or 11. Um, it's, so yeah, don't buy it. Just hold tight. You will get the Viper School stuff to do in due time. Um, also, you want to blow out this wall with your force push and set these things ablaze. Um, you do want to encounter a few more race here for the chance of Emerald Drop Dust. Uh, drops now it's not predetermined in this game in the Witcher 3 what enemies drop so if you go through and you don't get any or you only get one I would highly advise just reloading again and going to you know up your chance to uh, get more so you can use it for crafting materials or both fiber swords if you got shorted on one um, now that's basically most of the emerald dust in this area but I wanted to show you this also if you uh, use your Igni and explode the gas and pursue forward into the cave um, you do encounter I would say I guess he's a mini boss I forgot the name of him but uh, we'll see it here in a second as I approach the top of the steps Ugh, can't talk today I'm just gonna light this on fire I, I have a knack for lighting everything on fire in this game so uh, yeah, I'm using the wrong sign there. Uh, you want to push this rock out of the way. And then I don't want to spoil the battle because it's pretty cool. You have to use your own tactics. Um, and well, I kind of spoiled a little bit right there. But yeah, you fight this enemy. And once he's taken down, I will show you where you get the Griffin school gear. Uh, it starts the quest and you get the schematics for a few of them. So uh, this guy goes down. I'm not quite sure how he died. Uh, maybe I poisoned it with my Viper School stuff, but he just instantly dropped. It was kind of weird. Uh, once you defeat that enemy, you want to come up to this altar-looking area. I have a, once again, a knack for lighting these candles. And you open this chest right here, and boom, 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 boom. There's a whole bunch of stuff, and once you pick that up, it will start the, uh, the actual quest. And you get some diagrams there. Um, very cool gear. Um, hopefully I can get it soon and show you. Peace. 